Hey guys. Welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about starting an Amazon RDS DB instance that was previously stopped. Starting an Amazon RDS DB instance that was previously stopped. You can stop your Amazon RDS DB instance temporarily to save money. After you stop your DB instance, you can restart it to begin using it again. When you start a DB instance that you previously stopped, the DB instance retains the ID, domain name server, DNS, endpoint, parameter group, security group, and option group. When you start a stopped instance, you are charged a full instance hour to start a DB instance. First log in to the AWS Management Console. Verifying your region in the AWS Management Console. The AWS region name is always listed in the upper right corner of the AWS Management Console in the navigation bar. Make a note of the AWS region name, for example, US West, Oregon. On the Services menu, click RDS. In the, the Amazon RDS console. In the navigation pane, choose databases and then choose the DB instance that you want to start. For actions, choose start. You can see the status of your instance here. If the status is not available, wait for few minutes and refresh the list. 